Before this man's parachute opens, he could be falling through space at the incredible speed of 200 miles per hour. To a parachutist, it's quite a thrill. I'm Bob Rose, and we're in Tahlequah, Oklahoma, the scene of the 8th Annual National Parachuting Championship, where a record number of contestants have been competing this past week. Championships will be determined in both style and accuracy, and an overall champion will also be crowned. These contestants, both men and women, have gathered here from all over the nation, and the competition this year has been extremely close. The final rounds of jumping are now in progress, so let's check the current leaders. This is Pat Hallman from Norristown, Pennsylvania, currently leading in women's accuracy. Here is 26-year-old Martin Durbin of Atlanta, Georgia, in second place. In women's style, Susan Jorans, last year's champion, is in the lead. She's also leading women's overall. Barbara Rockmore of Santa Monica, California, stands in second place right now in the style event. In this group, heading for the aircraft and another jump, is 28-year-old Martha Huddleston, a research technician from Dallas, Texas. Second to Susan Jorans in the overall. In the men's division, Floyd Glover, newcomer from Tempe, Arizona, is the surprise accuracy leader at this moment of competition. In second place is Gene Thacker of the United States Army Golden Knight. In both men's style and overall, the leader is Roy Johnson. Second spot in both of these divisions is Eric Dehor, who hails from Youngstown, Ohio. And now moving along to the style event. This is the free fall event where the jumper must perform a prescribed set of six maneuvers consisting of 360-degree turns and back loops. The exit altitude for this event is 6,600 feet, and the winner of this event will have a combination of the best time and the most perfectly executed maneuver. This is Tim Saltonstall of Ithaca, New York, student at Cornell University, 1965 style champion. Finished third last year in this event, but having a difficult talent in this meet. In slow motion, here's Tim doing a left series in the style event. The final score is determined by the composite scores of the five judges. Tim's official time, 9.5. Not enough to bring him up in the standings. Currently in third place in style and sixth in overall is 28-year-old Bob Holler of Sandover, Maryland. While Bob goes through his last series, let's listen to the judge call the maneuvers. Okay, setting up, getting ready now. Something real good. There you go, left turn. Right turn, okay, loop. Good. Left turn, under 10. Right turn, okay, and loop. Very good stuff. Time. Nine flat. Canopy. The United States team character. His official time is nine seconds flat. As of the moment, that's the fastest time and puts Bob in the lead. While the aircraft is getting in position for the next jump run, let's take a look back to a record-breaking performance by Roy Johnson, which took place during the third round. Johnson turned a cross series in seven and seven ten seconds, the first time it's been done in national competition. And here's Roy to describe some of the techniques he uses as we watch in slow motion. Well, I throw my head around so I look at the heading and I just shove my hand straight towards the earth and put my legs in. The uh, thing I try to stay awake on is to watch for uh, undershoots and things like that, make sure I don't stop the turn too fast or get into a back loop too fast, something like that would be deductible points for me. How do you stop yourself with it? Well, I just more or less throw my head in the opposite direction and follow through with my hands and arms. I don't break any specific turn. The head is the main thing in series, I believe because your body always follows the head. I imagine various parachutists have different problems in their style. What gives you the biggest problem? Well, I believe that the biggest problem for me is getting into the back loop fast enough. But I don't, I don't have any trouble at all. I get the back loop into the turn. But you have to be pretty careful going into the loop that you don't roll out of it. And a lot of people have trouble with that. Does it get easier as you go along, right? No, it gets harder because the more you practice, the faster you get, and the more you want to work at it, and I think it gets very difficult after you get good at it. Thank you, Roy. You're having a fantastic meet. Roy is one of the few jumpers who uses the lead weight strapped around his waist in his style jumps. He believes the added weight, which gives him a faster rate of descent, close to 200 miles per hour, 
also gives him a more concentrated center point of gravity, thus enabling him to pivot. Let's watch that record-breaking cross series at normal speed. Young lady. She gets no points for that. 
and of course cannot move up in the standing. The next plane though will be on the jump line in just a moment. The two most important ingredients in any parachuting championship, naturally the parachutist and the plane to get them to that drop zone. In this case, it's Fairchild Hiller Porter and its chief pilot, Bob Bjornstadt. Bob, congratulations to doing a fine job. Thank you, Bob. It's been a great, challenging uh, responsibility to introduce the turboprop uh, to the American sport parachuting uh, public. Bob, you have to cover both the style event and the accuracy. Is there any difference in your attitude in the plane and going out and getting to the drop zone? Yes, there is. Uh, earlier in the meet, we established ground rule one, and that would be that we have a parachutist exiting every 60 seconds. Uh, in the style event, from 6,600 feet, the exit is, is given by radio from the judges on the ground, and the contestant has very little to say about it. Uh, on the other hand, in the accuracy event, from 2,200 feet, the uh, pilot flies into the wind, and the contestant, right behind him, giving him directions, uh, left to right shoulder taps, uh, taking the contestant to the point that he wants to exit from. Well, it's a matter of real teamwork, and you fellows are doing a great job in this event and moving it along. It's been very smooth, very simple, and uh, very gratifying to all of us. Continuing now with the women's accuracy event, and this is Susan Purins, 23-year-old housewife of Houston, Texas. Susan previously had a dead center hit. Let's see how close this one is. It has about, uh, about like four feet from here. Susan, along with Martin Durbin, had the only dead center hit for the gals. However, there have been 91 hit on the dead center in this fantastic meet. And now we'll return to more action here in Tahlequah, Oklahoma, in just a moment.